Hello there, Internet. Steve here again with another Unity Asset Store review. Today, we are going to be looking at the Crusader Castle Pack by Art Equilibrium. Uh, at the time of writing this, this uh, asset retails for $49.99 USD. Um, and it supports all three rendering pipelines, built-in, URP, and HDRP. So, let's go over my, uh, my uh, ratings. Um, as a reminder, I only do pass-fail. I do not uh, assign numbers. In my opinion, something is either good enough or it is not. So, quality. I do think the quality is there. Uh, I think the quality passes, and it passes pretty easily. Um, the I I ru I'm going to be running the demo in built in. I'll mention that in the video as well. Um, but um, if you put it into HDRP, like it's really quite pretty. Um, uh, even in built in, in my opinion, it's 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 pretty. So, um, yeah, the quality definitely passes. There's a lot of attention to detail on um, the actual, uh, you know, prop assets and stuff like that and, all, and, and everything. So, yeah, I, I do think it passes quality. Um, modularity and workability. Uh, yeah, it, they did a really good job of modularizing everything out in a smart and efficient manner where you can build small buildings, large buildings, and everything in between in a way that makes sense. So, yeah, I definitely think that um, um, the way that they modularize it out is good. It, it's one of those um, types of assets. I've, I've done a couple of reviews for assets like this before where less is more. Like, they did such a smart job of modularizing it out that you don't need a huge abundance of... Um, pieces. You, you just have what you need to make a lot of variety. So, um, and we'll, we'll dive into that in like the prefab section as well. But um, yeah, definitely passes there. Support and serviceability, they, they follow through. So yeah, they're going to pass there. And value. Um, for 40, essentially 45 bucks, I do think it's worth it. Um, I think that like, like, there's a couple of like nitpicky things that I have, but, but all in all, I mean, the amount of stuff you get and the amount of um, stuff you can build with what you get um, I in my opinion is is worth 45 bucks so yeah I do think that it passes value as well so um, that's that for the overviews uh, we're gonna go hop into the demo scene in just a minute here and I will see everybody there shortly all righty and we are back in the demo scene so we're, there's some road stuff here and flip around just like always I just literally dragged and dropped the um my preferred character controller into the scene and push play um i am running this on built in um like i mentioned uh it's what i mentioned in the actual review portion uh which which pipelines it supports but i am running it in built in for the purpose of this demo so just know you can kind of scale up um you can scale up the fidelity if you would would like. Um, do this actually pop up here first. Stand up here. Pour, uh, actually, I'll go over here and do it. Um, I'm gonna point out a couple of things from on high here. So, point that guy out, um, and then to ah oh uh oh ah, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> ah come on, point that guy out, and then uh, maybe we'll run over there after ooh, afterwards. But um, <clears throat> so. Um, as you'll know, as you noticed when I was coming in, there's a lot of clutter, a lot of different like um, baskets and uh, boxes and stuff like that, uh, vessels. Uh, you'll see more of them as we go through uh, the actual scene. Um, there's a couple of different uh, window types uh, that you'll notice. There's the, there's actual glass window types like that, and then there's like thatched window types like like uh, that one right there. So a couple different window types. There's a few different doors. 
Um, the exterior ramparts here are all modularized out in a way that you can create all different sizes of ramparts. And then they've got these sort of battle damage sections as well. Bunch of different door solutions. Um, like I said, lots of level clutter, which, you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know how much I like my level clutter. Um, so all the buildings do have interiors, as you can see. Um, I'm just going to peek into some of them, but all the buildings do have interiors, um, which is nice. Uh, actual full-blown treasure chests, stuff like that. Um, um, got this sort of like middle bazaar um, uh, piece. You've got different shop options. You've got stuff for blacksmith forge, uh, blacksmiths forges and stuff so you got you know the bells anvils all that fun stuff a uh, bunch of different weapons and stuff like that uh, which is nice to see uh, weapons and armor You've got sort of a barracks area over here which is nice um, and then we will hop up to the main like castle area um, or you know Maybe, maybe castle isn't the right word. It would be more of like a, um, uh, what would the term for that be? Uh, hold, I think, is the term that's used for it. Um, so you get your throne piece and stuff like that, your elevated you know, floor pieces. Um, so that's all fun. And then let's hop over here. Uh-oh, uh I get stuck? I did get, oh, I did get stuck. Uh, actually, I'll do this too, just so you see. So I, I can do my wall running and slicing, which means that they did set the um, colliders and everything. Oh, uh oh, up correctly. That's not what I wanted to do, though. I wanted to do this. I want to go in here. This is a relatively short demo scene, so um, uh, I'm just going to finish this demo scene up, and then we will... Um, head over in a moment here to the prefab scene. So that is the end of the demo scene. Like I said, not a lot to show in the demo scene itself, but there is a lot you can do with this asset. Um, and I, we will head over to the demos or to the prefabs here uh, shortly. See you all there. Alrighty, and we are back with the um, <clears throat> with the. Uh, Prefabs. So we're going to go through the prefabs. I'm not going to go through every single one of them individually, but I'm going to highlight ones that I think are important to sort of point out. And then I'll just sort of do an overview of uh, the ones that are that you don't really need explaining. Um, so we're starting out with the bizarre uh, folder. So it's laid out, in my opinion, pretty well. It's Prefabs are all pretty straightforward structure-wise. So um, this is the uh, that, that centerpiece that we saw that I pointed out in the demo scene. This is single-faced. So um, there is no interior for this. It's more of just a, an accent piece that you can put stuff around. Um, and then you've got um, a few different, like, uh, uh, what would they be called? Boots, I guess, for lack of a better term. Like the tables that you would see uh, in a um, yeah, counters. That's the word. I should have just looked at what it was called, called in the profile. Um, so counters and stands. And then you've got the sort of awning area, the awnings, the covers over the top. A um, few different options for those. Um, this is more of a combined one. So it's got the, the counter and the top on it. Um, and then, um, you know, kind of same thing here. People would be standing in front of this one. So all in all, I think that the, um, you know, bizarre marketplace uh, prefabs are, are good. So the castle pieces, these are those exterior rampart wall pieces. Um, these are all, um, you know, double-faced essentially. Um, so you can build out a, a pretty unique Pretty unique solutions for this. I'm actually going to open up this one in here so I can show you a couple of things with this. So this one, we went inside of this one 
uh, when we first walked in in the demo scene, we walked in like this, and then I turned around immediately, and we went up these stairs. So this is clearly animatable, um, and yeah, it, it it does contain those interiors that we um, that we went up. So. Oh, what's next? Uh, so we've got a few different wall pieces, wall wall variants, and stuff like that. Um, I think that the amount and way the amount of and way that uh, these were modularized um, is is very intelligent. Um, it allows you to make a lot of like unique, uh, you know, like I said, ramparts essentially. Um, so. Um, got the uh you know corner towers and stuff like that I, these all these all have interiors um so this is going to be like to connect the uh not the main floor but if it's like two floors up um we've got circle circular versions of that um this is the one that we went up at the very end of that demo scene um so you've got that bridge this was there when we first walked uh, up to the initial ramparts um, entrance. Um, this, I pointed out this one. Uh, there's some battle damage um, solutions. I did point that out in the demo scene. Um, it's another battle damage solution. Um, oops, I just clicked on that one twice. <laughs> so again, more like variants of um, of uh or not variants but you know flavor for your for your design for your actual level design um and that pretty much point this out this is a good one too but um so like like stuff like this shows that the developer understands how to modularize um assets really well so um saw a few of these in that scene and we've got um, um, a, another sort of battle damaged one ish um, so that does it for like the ramparts the castle area like I said I think they did a good job of this portion of it um, or I really I think they did a good job of the entire pack but modularizing that part out I think they did a fantastic job. So this is that, you know, keep area that I was trying to think of the name of Citadel as they title it is another another good word for that. Um, so you got your entryways. Um, I do think that this is modularized out in a way that is very intelligent. Um, it allows you to build um, pretty smart um uh, or it, it allows you to um, uh, build a, a vast variety of different types of citadels, <laughs> calling it the right name that time. Um, this does not have an interior, which, you know, that's one thing I would have liked to have seen, I guess, if I'm going to gripe about something, it would have been nice to have seen, like, a um, an option for this to like, not, not for this, sorry, for like this to be able to have as, as guard towers for people to go up to. But again, not, not the end of the world. I'm not going to sleep over that. Um, so decent amount of walls in different sizes and chunkings, which I like to see. Uh, the stained glass stuff, I definitely like to see um, in, you know, this sort of manner. Um, it would have been cool to see even more stained glass. That's one thing that if the developer wanted to add to this, that would be a welcome change, having or a, a welcome update, having more stained glass options. Because, I mean, stained glass is just beautiful. And in, like, this sort of, um, in this sort of, um, you know, aesthetic, like, it's an important part. Oops. <laughs> It's an important part of like that part of you know culture. So would have been nice to see some of that, uh, or it would be nice to see them add to that portion of it. Um, but again, I you know that's a super nitpicky thing, and I don't think that um, have that like like I think that this pack is like very worth it, even without that.
So that's the Citadel prefabs. Uh, let's go to the decals. So these would be if you wanted to slap these onto the, um, you know, environmental pieces. Um, you could do that to give it more flavor, um, uh, and to just give variety to your level. Um, I do wish there were more decals, if I'm being honest. Um, this is a decent amount of decals, but but it would have been nice to see more decals. Um, I, I, I like variety. One of my tenets of level design is that, uh, especially in like large scale levels, you have to provide the uh, player a way to easily navigate and identify where they are. And stuff like this is a really good way to do that, in my opinion. So it would have been nice to see more decals. Um, but again, that's a nitpicky thing. So uh, this was the barracks area. This was the, um, the area where um, I sort of like went underneath that little tunnel and there was all that armor and weapons and shit off to the right. Um, this is just to build the outside of it. I'm not going to focus on these too much because this is more of like, a, you know, flavor thing. Um, all right. So now we're getting into the houses. <clears throat> so there's a lot of stuff with the houses. Um, I do think that they modularize these in a way that is uh, intelligent. Um, one thing, so even with like this shop, um, and they did build some other, like other, you know, buildings, some other houses rather for you, but all of this stuff is, uh, where's that? let me select it. All of it is, um, you know, modularized. So you can yank this stuff out if you need to, but they also give them to you in a modular manner. So you can modify it if you want. Um, so lots of different options for um, building out your 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 houses, um, you know, in the actual like with the assets that are provided. Um, couple floor options. It would have been nice to see more floor options, if I'm being honest, but um, I, I think that that gets the job done perfectly fine for the aesthetic that this particular asset is going for. Um, baseboard, stuff like that. Lots of varieties there. Lots of wall options. <clears throat> Remember I said there were quite a few door options. So you can, ah, it's not gonna let me do that. But you can see that the doors themselves are independent. Um, so yeah, lots of door options. Those are those wi dashed windows, glass windows, and then open window. Um, so lots of different wall with window options. Uh, now we're getting to the interior stairwells. Um, so there's a good amount of these as well. Um, a couple exterior stairwells. Um, and then you've got pre-made buildings. So these I'll actually open up, up here. But these are all made from the individual parts so you can you know, modify them if you would like, or, um, you know, use them wholesale. Uh, but they are made from the modular pieces. Um, is there? All right. Some of these were not used in the, um, in the actual uh, demo scene, which is unfortunate because it would have been nice to see how some of this was, um, you know, like sort of be able to point out some of it. And then you've got your tents outside. So these were the tents that we saw when we first loaded up the scene. Um, just a couple of shelves. All right, so 
for the houses, yeah, I mean, I, I think they did a good job on modularizing that stuff out. Um, let's do the props last, actually. We'll be jumping around a little bit. Let's look at the vegetation. There is a decent amount of vegetation offered in this particular asset, um, which I like to see. I do think that it is, um, um, yeah, I, I like to see that sort of amount of um, um, uh, vegetation and, and stuff and to that sort of, um, and to that sort of um, um, uniqueness as well, like the palm trees, you know, like that's a, that's nice to see. Um, so a few different rock options. Um, I actually think they did a good job with these rocks too. I, I do like the way that these are done. Um, would have been nice to, for them to have bottoms, uh, because then you can, then there's even more you can do with them. Um, but again, that's a nitpicky thing. Um, all right, now let's go into the props because this is going to be a large, uh, section. So for the weapons, um, do this we'll really zoom in on a couple of these eh. so the attention the the attention to detail on these is really good in my opinion um, um, so there's a lot of shields lots of blades um, arrows halberds hammers helmets like there's just there's a lot of good stuff that comes with this. Um, so crossbow in two different, um, in two different um, um, states. It's it's probably important to note with these that these aren't meant to be like animatable uh, weapons that you're going to use for your character. These are meant to be set pieces. So, um, like. <laughs> Animated weapons for the use for use with the player is not the goal, or it does not seem to be the goal of this particular asset. Um, and that makes sense because it's not marketed as that; it's marketed as an environmental asset. But um, yeah, I that's something I think worth pointing out in this uh, in this situation. Um, Obviously, with the melee weapons, it's just going to be a static piece for the most part. So you can use, you could use those for a player, uh, what player's weapon if you needed to. Um, and then you got your weapon racks with everything on there. Um, so these are one static piece, by the way. It's probably worth noting that as well. Those are just the lods. Um, all right, so those are the weapon props. Let's pop back and look at the uh, environmental props. Gonna be a large one, so let's look at these first. <laughs> um, these are going to be for like the ramparts and stuff like that. We I zoomed in on one of these in the demo scene so you could sort of see um, a few flags and stuff like that. Uh, Piles of bricks, <laughs> um, scaffolding stuff, there's that piece that's on top of that, on top of the armory, um, I pointed this out, or I didn't verbally point it out, but I did stop on it when we were, when we first came into the um, demo scene area, the demo scene ramparts, I stopped once we went up the, the stairs for that. Um, this too. All right, so let's go to the environment props because this is the largest one. So um, here's that anvil that's at the uh, blacksmith. Like I said, lots of vases, vases, however you choose to pronounce that. Um, plates and stuff like that. Um, 
just lots of accent pieces. So you've got a lot of barrels and stuff like that as well. All the, all the stuff for the blacksmith, again, partially made blades, um, heated blades. You've got fires. So there were some of these outside in the outside area for the um, when we first loaded up the demo scene. So these do have the um, these do have the actual flame in them. Um, I'm not sure why it's not emitting right now. Oh, whatever. Um, so lots of bed options. I did zoom in on that. Uh, these were inside of the uh, rampart gates. Um, if you have awning stuff, awning things, rugs, stuff like that. Got more bases, chairs, tables. We'll load this guy up real quick. Um, as you can see, it does have interior. Not all of the vessels do have interiors, unfortunately. Um, pillows look really nice. <laughs> There's that blacksmith sign. See these, these also have the, the mirrors on them. I think this one does, yeah, this one does too. I think all these do, yeah. I think all of the torches have them, except for this one. This one doesn't. <laughs> so. This one? This one have it? Okay, so there's two outliers that don't have it. The rest of them do. Like, uh, I don't believe this has... Yeah, this does not have an interior, so that's an example of a vessel that does not. Um, this one... Does this one? This one does not. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I don't think these do either. Yeah, none of those do, unfortunately. But, as I've said in previous videos, you can fake that through scriptable objects and just adding a, effectively an inventory to uh, literally any object. So, that is the all, is all the prefabs um, for this particular asset. Um, uh, like I said, I do think this asset is worth it. Um, I do like this asset. I think you can do a lot with it, and the way that it's modularized out is, is smart. So, um, yeah, I, I do recommend this asset. I think the developer did a good job on this. So if you have questions, let me know. Uh, and I will see everybody in the next one.